Welcome to the top five where we debate and create the consensus in TV, music, and pop culture. Who's in the top five? I'm your host, G. Bush. To my left, who we got in the building? You know who it is. It's T. Bush. You ain't got nothing else besides that? That's all I got today. I'm, I'm focused. I'm focused. Man to the right? Bryson Jerome Bush, also known as Bear Tober. Okay, that's a little better. Let's step it up a little bit. Who got Who got to the far right? You already know what it is. Uh-oh. He's doing a mixtape. Before we get to, <laughs> before we get to it, let me see. Let me look around before we get to some. I'm just trying to look at the shoe gang. I like them. Oh, man, them is jeaned out. I, like I appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys. We got the the the, the, the G5, the, the, the Gucci <laughs> choker on. Man. We got the, <laughs> Gucci choker. <laughs> we got the Gucci choker on. That's fine, bro. It's a lot of times when you do something and you want to do a top five show, and a lot of times you don't got the icons up here. We want to give credit and show love to the icons, and Chris Brown is one of the, the young kings in this game. And sometimes somebody got so many bangers, the whole show got to just be on their top five. And today we got Chris Brown. So of course, you know how we give it up. We've taken a poll of the audience out there, and they've given up us the song, so we narrowed it down. And let's get into our bottom five. These cuts are still bangers. Lo and behold. So let's get to my man Mace right now. Let's talk about what you got in your bottom five on Chris Brown's. All right, number 10, I got Wet the Bed featuring Ludacris. I got Loyal at nine, Privacy at eight, Fine China at seven, New Flame with Usher at six. He's the best dude in the world at making hot bubblegum songs that's dope. But then he always got the the, the, the baby naked joints, man. Right. What what made what made you put what the bed right there at ten? We gonna get to that. The, I mean, the key factor of it is my man Ludacris. That's my favorite rapper. Period. So he put the icing on top of it. I'm gonna do y'all think that, that Chris Brown kind of don't get his just deserves because he's a young king right now? Usually we've seen guys like, you know, Michael Jackson or Usher, and we've seen them get older and, you know, do their thing. But Chris Brown, it looks like he came out in this prime. Right. I'm going to be honest. I, I really believe it's almost like thing in the NBA where they say, you know, well, when you do this or when you go this long, then you'll become out of fame and win. I think he's a living legend. He's just consistent as hell. Like he got bangers. Well, well, what he did is really change the format of how you view that music. A lot of people was going total albums and it was one that compare albums and bodies of work. But what Chris Brown was showing you is like, my life is a body of work. He was bringing out single after single. After single, it got to the point where he was like, why am I gonna put an album in? There was a string of about five years where I am like, Chris Brown's album? I, can, I, can tell you. I didn't know it was an album or you just saw a single. He was just like, nope, I'm shooting them out there. I'm doing music, bye. Number 10, yo, this is a newbie. This just came out, but it's still fire, no pun intended. Number nine, heat. Number eight, I got a sleeper mixtape joint. Which one of y'all coming in at number eight? Which one of y'all? Which which one of you? Number seven, wall to wall. Y'all know what that's about. Number six, with you, with you, with you. Man, dance all around a circle, lights everywhere. He gives you every level of it. He like he gives you break dancing. He gives you acrobats. He was doing the ninja moves for a while. Then he comes out and he and he a kappa. I wanna get equal. All I ask for my. Texas, like, when did you? Have you know, that's sacred. Oh, wow. They just was like, hey, listen. I mean, that, I didn't that see Texas. Hey, 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 talk hey. to him. Tell him you went to HBCU. I, I went to HBCU. Let, them, let them know. I talk to you. Me. They be getting at these cats that stars too, entertainers. They're like, no, nah, man, you can't just go out here and put a jacket on. You can't, you just, can't just go out here right, and hey, start stumping hey, the yard. One of the songs that I think that Chris Brown was able to do back in the day, they call him Club Ballad. He had strings and guitar. Mm -hmm. Man, man he's spinning down the street. His lights everywhere. Bryson, what do you got um, as your bottom five in, in, in the Chris Brown? Well, my bottom five, I got uh, beautiful people at 10. I got no guidance at nine. I got number eight running. I got 
Seven, give me that, and I got deuces at six. Listen, that bottom, listen, hold on. That bottom five is ridiculous. Let me talk to you, tell you how it is. I was thinking when I saw that body, how to get shorty. Tell her what the young boy gon' do. First of all, you know you got songs when you got running. Mace, you got you caught the Holy Ghost when you've heard that. Listen, what, what you like about that list? Man, listen. The, everybody's list been so accurate, nobody said the same song. That means that's 15 songs that this man just went through. That's on it. It's crazy, bro. And, and let me get and let me give you this. I'm a I'm a, like I'm from that era. Usher was that dude. People was running around with long U chains on. I got a U cut in my head. I don't even know why I had a U. But here's the thing. I'm sorry, Chris Brown has way more songs. Baby, he's the reason for the way you feeling. I know what you need and you can get it on side. Yeah. I'm an Usher guy, but when we start rattling these off, when you see songs like August Alcini, Alcini he's dope, Jeremiah's dope, Usher's dope, Trey Song, Trey Song's dope, but Chris Brown got all of that. You know what, to me, I feel like what it bigs up is what he previously seen in another lane done by Lil Wayne when Lil Wayne had his run. And then I kind of seen a similar thing with Chris Brown a couple years later. He was on everything. He was coming out with stuff every day. Your album wasn't complete if Chris Brown wasn't on it. If he wasn't doing the hook, you're not done. And the crazy thing about it is now he rapping and it's like, he almost, he, 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 he getting his LeBron James on. I'm out here assisting. Scoring, rebounding. Yellow model kid. Yellow bottle sipping. Yellow Lamborghini. Yellow top missing. Yeah, yeah. You know it's gonna be a hot show when your bottom five is looking like this across the board. So now what we're gonna get into is the five good minutes where we talk about the topic of the day. Since we on that R&B thing, man, let's talk about where the, where the, where the, where the state of hip hop and R&B is, right? Because I kind of put them together. Yeah. You know, Jack Jack Peace came out a couple months ago and really sparked that energy, right? He came out and said, "Yo, I'm I'm the king of R&B." Kind of like what kind of like what Lil Wayne said. What do you think the state of R&B is right now? Do you still got your giants like Usher still holding it down, or or which young guys in the game you think is really stepping it up? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna throw one out there that a lot of people ain't talking about right now. Eric Bellinger is another guy that I feel like. Eric Bellinger, I think, is super dope with the vocals. You know what I'm saying? I think he, he makes, he writes too. He writes songs also. So I think Eric Bellinger is another guy. The Weeknd. Weekend. Weekend's doing his thing, right? You know who else dope? Toy Lanez is a dog, bro. Toy, Toy Lanez get on stuff and kill stuff. But I think Toy Lanez is in that Drake lane, though. So let's talk about that. I think one of the things that's happening is you've seen the influence of hip hop into R&B. Yep. So you got guys like Tory Lanez, you got guys like Future, you got guys that that's August Alcina. Those guys are influenced heavy by hip hop. But I'll tell you one thing what I do miss. I do miss the true R&B sound. You have R&B songs, you have R&B-ish songs, but there's not too many guys that create that R&B love ballad song. Like if you listen to a guy like Tank, Tank came out a couple years ago and said, Tank was like, listen, I can't create R&B soul music because people not support me. You see Tyrese and you see Genuine yeah. and you see yeah. some of the old dudes. Yeah. Music Soul Child, those guys, there's, if they came out, they couldn't sell out, they couldn't sell out a venue. And do you think that's more of a, a situation where we got older rock guys that can come out and still sell out venues, what? but we can't support, we don't support rock music like that? It was a time when I came up when if you was if you've been in the game for 10 years strong, you was a legend, not, yep. you know, you're irrelevant. I never looked at James Brown right. like you're irrelevant Relevant. when Michael Jackson came along. Right. I never That's looked at right. Tina Turner like you don't mean nothing because Beyonce is here. Like these people have built a foundation. Real artists don't have to move with the times. Right. You, the times move with you. You know what I'm saying? You are the times. Let's get into, now we moving up to the top five. Now we, now we kind of here, we talked about them bottom five songs, right? So let's talk about some of the songs that could potentially be on these top five, right? So right now, 
I see one of the songs that really, I think, really changed the game. Cause it was 35,000 dudes on this record, Deuces. Yeah. 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 We got Kanye West, we yeah. got Drake. I think, I think everybody had a verse. Like this was one of the songs where you just, you hopped on it, right? When this came out, where was you at and what were you doing, man? Probably telling somebody deuces at that time, bro. <laughs> You had you had a perfectly good. This song made you have a perfectly good relationship, and you was just like, "This ain't gonna work." You just throw this on the voicemail and be like, "Oh, you ain't gotta call me back. Here, go right here." We saw we saw artists, established artists, want to be on songs with him when he first came out. One of the songs that really stepped Chris Brown out was that "Give Me That." Young Carter, harder than the mother boys. I ain't even fretting, baby. I could take a summer off. I could break a woman off. I could take the stomach off. One of my trucks, now I'm riding in the goods. But if you remember about this song, though, Little Wayne wasn't knowing the original version. It was just give me that. And then the video came out. He's like, oh, guess what? I got Little Wayne on here. I was like, man, what is this? It was a young phenom and the best rapper alive at the time. It's young Mike Jackson. And Little Wayne was in a zoot suit. This song came out 10, 12 years ago. Kids still sing this song. One of the joints where I think he really embraced the Michael Jackson situation was She Ain't You. Like, the way he flipped it, bro, like, I was just like, okay. It's like, yeah, he's Michael Jackson. Shouts out to Seven Streeter who didn't buckle under pressure of that song. Seven Streeter would get on there and do the, the, the lace the background because her vocals is that high. So Chris right. Brown is hitting that many, that many high notes where she's, a woman is singing his background joint. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just, I think it's just really dope, man. And then he finally gave us that, that one we wanted, right? We seen the Monica and Brandy, the boy's mind, and we always want that mashup, we want that collaboration. So when that new flame came out, there can be one only you and baby God can never Hey, I was like, yo, it, it was Superman and Batman taking up fire. I remember the video being super, super West Coast, super, super oh, white, super. That was on another planet, man. It was so refreshing, you know what I'm saying? Like a like a cucumber water. Like, it was like, it was like if, if you was like, if you was like watching Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome that went to like a Miami party. Man, this is so fire, bro. And at the time, I really like enjoyed that Usher showed up for that joint. He didn't give me a watered down verse. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouts out to Usher as well for keeping up on those dance steps. I was just about yeah. to say that. The choreography on there is fire. It was on shadow boxing going on. Las Vegas, I love ya. Vegas, give it up for CB, y'all. I think this next joint right here really set things off. At this time, when this song came out, you couldn't even really talk about loving girls. You couldn't even say, like, I'm in a, in a committed relationship. I wasn't born last night. I know these names ain't right. But you was blowing up her phone last night. But she ain't have a ring or not her ring on last night. If you was like a traditional R&B, when Loyal came out, like, I think it shut down everybody's money. Sometimes you gotta know they ain't loyal. He said, why give the girl a heart when she'd rather have a purse? That was so hard. And she all about hers. When my man Chris Brown wanna go get that banker, you know he coming with. He gotta, he gotta come get Wayne. He come get him immediately. He gotta come right? get Wayne. He come get him immediately. I respect the fact that your boy Chris Brown is 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 killing all his background dancing. He slays these dudes like in every every video. I think I'm like. None of these dancers are gonna come out and catch him last. But I feel like he checked that to heart, though. It's a standard that Mike set. If you a dancer and singer, that's on film, B. You can't get world star by your own backup dancer. I always felt like if, if I was gonna get an album as far as some some collaboration, watch the throne type joint, I feel like Drake and Chris Brown really was supposed to do that, right? But but they waited. 
And they, they, gave, and they, gave, they gave me what I wanted on that. Exactly. They gave me what I wanted on that. Hey. Listen. Oh. Trips that you plan for the next I get emotional. <laughs> Drake might be his own top five. Hey man, Drake is a Drake. Yeah. Is, Drake is probably Drake Drake is a, like I don't know what kind of emotion he be tapping into, but he make like he be singing yeah. songs and you be like, you you want to say it, bro? Right. I'm you be married and we want to sing and your wife is like, you ain't going through problems right now, but I want to though. I think Chris, I think Chris, Chris Brown, I think, to, I think Chris Brown and Drake got some more in them too. Honest with you, there's there's a couple times where you find a song. And you can't take it apart. Like I can't. Nah. There's a perfect. Song. It's so dope. So but what we're gonna do? We're gonna move on because there's way more bangers we gotta get to, and we're gonna get to what everybody wanna go. Number five, give me that. Feature Lil Wayne. This is when Lil Wayne was on everything. Number four, New Flame. Number three, Deuces. Number two. She Ain't You, little Michael Jackson tribute on that joint with Seven Streeter, Straight Fire. And number one spot, these girls ain't loyal. Man, I was going through a breakup at that time and that was my anthem, people. When you're talking about dudes that got a catalog like this, if you say top five Chris Brown songs, you liable to hear all them. You, there's no lose. What you got as far as your top five? Uh, five, I got no guidance. Four, undecided. Three, pop. Two, yo. And number one, take you down. Take you down at number one. Song's fire. Any of my team could have been at my one because he's dope. He flexed a lot on his vocals. When you just listen to it, the harmonies and all that stuff, he really did his thing on this joint. That's why I put it at number one. You can't be around the wrong people when this is on. You got all the mixtape. You got mixtape breezy. Yeah. You got <laughs> popping. I like, popping I like and, it though because uh, popping is dope, I though. like it though because these Pop, are songs that we, 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 we know what makes us trying to do the Chris Brown. Uh, like yo, you got take you down and popping. Man, <laughs> like you was man. ready to go. He was trying to mesh them two songs together. <laughs> We used to be, we, me and my brother used to be in college at University Courtyard. We had three roommates, right? We always knew we were some girls coming back to the crib because we'd be start hanging that pop and all, all of a sudden you pop you like every single time. My our, our roommate, shout out to Paul Johnson, man. Paul says, I, I always know because that popping comes on. Bryson, let's, let's see what you got, man. At number five, I got Fine China. Yeah. Number four, I got New Flame. Yeah. Number three, I got Loyal. Number two, I got that wall to wall. And I got number one with that She Ain't You. That, 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 listen, this is the first time, this is the first time all day we got an opportunity to hear that Fine China. Baby, does he do it for you? When he's finished, does he step back in a door? That's the song I feel like was the closest song, period, that somebody like like Mike would be singing. That's Mike's joy. The video was, was was a shout out to Mike Jackson, but that electric guitar was a shout out to Prince himself. And then he smoothed it out. You think the Chicago two step to this? That fine sign is, is so dope, man. One of the, the things that you see in Chris Brown's songs is you see a distribution between fast, slow, medium tone songs. And when you look at the videos, his videos were so diverse. When you talk about this video, he, he was in some sort of electric Chinatown, bro. It was crazy. You know who I would say he's a perfect mesh of? He's a perfect mesh of Michael Jackson and Bobby Brown together. I don't know if they related. But if you think about Bobby Brown, he got a lot of Bobby Brown in his I just want to know, is that Sue Young? Sue Young? By the way, by the way. Sue Young? By the way, hold on. Look her up now. No, no, for real. Just go ahead and type. Just, I'm just letting you know. Much, much, much later.
And right now, that is everybody's top five. But here on top five, we like to give you a consensus of what it's going to be. Wall to Wall is the number five Chris Brown top five songs of all time. Coming in at number four, we got Deuces. Number three, we got She Ain't You. Coming in at number two, we got New Flame. Love me, love you crazy. Tell me if you it. Baby, come and get it. Try a new plan. And it's like a new plan. And you know what that means. The number one Chris Brown song of all time by the fans, by Mace, by Bryson, by Big Sex. It's loyal. Loyal. Salute you, you Chris Breezy, keep doing your thing. You a king in your own right. You ain't gotta be Mike Jack. We're gonna give you your flowers now. Chris Brown is that guy. Living legend, man. Living legend. So you know what we gotta do? We gotta declare a winner. Well, 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 boys. Looks like we got a Mexican standoff. We gotta declare who really came up, who did their thing. And who's the host with the most? You have four out of the top five songs, Bryson. You have four of the top five, you did your thing. Actually, when I saw this list, I thought you was gonna win. I like your list a lot, a lot better than this other guy. But it don't matter what you like, it don't matter what I like, it's a consensus. And my man. Oh! I told you I came here to win. Gucci, Gucci, necktie. Necktie. You know what it is. He got four also, but his four we're in a better selection. They were in order. They even got you from top, top to bottom. Top to bottom. He gives you top to bottom. He's like, I'm dancing top to bottom. He got it. It's a, hey, hey, hey. Get him, talk to him, talk to him. Hey, you know what? I would like to thank my mom, my dad. Hey, I'll humbly split this award with my other brother, Bryson. I split it with you, dog. Cause you got four, man. Good job, brother. You know what it is, Bryson. It ain't about what you like, it ain't what makes like. Top five is all about the consensus in music, television, and culture. Coming up next week, we got the top five underrated rappers. That's gonna be a classic. Listen, we ain't gonna play no games with them. That's gonna be classic. Top five underrated rappers. Get your encyclopedia Britannica's ready to go. Real bars, impact. That's what we're gonna do next week. Yes, sir. And as always, man, please like, subscribe, share. I need you to share this and go ahead and support. And put who's in your top five at the bottom of the comment section. Hit that share button, y'all. Hit that like button. Hey. And as always, who's in your top five? Hey. Chunk, chunking up this